Hi everybody, my name is Elnaz Bailey and together with my faculty advisor, Professor Luisa Caldas, we're going to discuss our project Inside XR, Reimagining the Future of Design Learning Through XR Collaborative Technologies. Design learning in the field of architecture mainly happens in the studio environment, which is characterized by extensive collaboration and by sharing of physical prototypes. Although online collaboration was already used in academic environments and professional practice, unprecedented times such as COVID-19 drastically increased the demand for such collaboration methods, inevitably altering the way that we will practice design in the future. 2D mode collaborative platforms such as video conferencing do not provide an adequate environment for sharing complex three-dimensional models. Furthermore, students are often relegated to passive viewer positions. Not all students feel comfortable offering voice-based feedback, what became known as Zoom silence, further contributing to their sense of isolation. Due to COVID-19, all studio experiences suddenly had to transition online. This increased need for online design learning was what motivated our team to develop Inside XR to provide a platform with enhanced design collaboration features for today's needs. Inside XR enables multiple users to collaborate from different locations using AR, VR, and MR technologies. It provides users, in this case design students and faculty, with information about areas of their design models that elicit a high concentration of focus and interest. This data can be ultimately used to inform the generation of new design ideas. In order to understand our users' needs, so far we have conducted eight interviews with graduate students in architecture using Zoom. The goal of these interviews was to understand the correlation between a designer's feedback and their nonverbal interaction with design content, as well as discovering ways to enable designers to receive and provide feedback in remote conditions to improve their design work. Participants were asked to view two design projects using their phones or tablets using an eye tracking application called Hawkeye. Next, they were asked to use a conventional whiteboard to provide feedback on physical features of each design project by scribbling and marking up any areas that they felt should be improved. We combined the raw eye data from Hawkeye with the user's positive, negative, and neutral feedback from Miro and visualized them over each image for each project photo. Then we cross-classified and color-coded the eye tracking data according to its association with positive, negative, and neutral feedback marked by our user on Miro. Our results from experiment one were used to inform the first iteration of InsideXR's AR platform. In our application, scribbling was substituted for a color-based markup system, precluding the need for additional classification. By selecting a color-coded key, red, blue, or gray, users explicitly classified their own feedback. This feedback can then be correlated with eye tracking data that captures the intensity of the user's engagement. Verbal annotations provide complementary qualitative feedback and additional drawings and images can be accessed by the user to further clarify other design aspects. In this part, we will discuss Inside XR's user interface. Users first go through an authentication process where they can sign up or log in to use the application. The user can place the model in the scene by selecting an anchor point in the visualized point cloud. Users can use different methods to provide feedback to their peers using our app such as direct feedback by tapping on different areas of the model or painting it a certain color based on their positive, negative, or neutral feedback. Users can also leave the designer of the project comments and visualize uploaded images of the project. While the user is interacting with the content, data regarding the user's phone movement as well as eye movements are tracked and saved to our database, which is then exported to Grasshopper to visualize and further modify the design. In order to test and analyze Inside XR's AR application, we are conducting interviews with students in the course ARC 249, Daylighting in Architecture. Our interviews are semi-structured and are done using Zoom. During the process, the student participant is asked to use the app to view two projects, one project designed by their classmate and the second, a project designed by our research group. Based on our interview results, the user was extremely satisfied with the 3D content visualization, ability to comment and access to 2D design documents within the Inside XR app. While using our app, students are no longer passive viewers, but active agents. After testing Inside XR's AR application, 
The user was then presented with their visualization results in Grasshopper based on their interaction with the 3D content in AR. Participants were then asked about the accuracy and usefulness of our visualizations in Grasshopper. In the future, this visualization data will be used to further evolve solutions using evolutionary design methods. In terms of future work, we will be conducting more user studies on the AR application to inform our next steps in the design of the Inside XR's app, as well as Grasshopper development side of the project. We will streamline the submission of 3D models from Grasshopper into the AR application. Finally, we will use AR feedback results as an input to generative design in Grasshopper. Inside XR will also explore virtual reality as a realm to generate new design ideas based on user feedback. Thank you.